Now, of course, this is the end of Sign Language Week, and Evelyn, who was our interpreter earlier on in the show, I thought maybe we could have a little bit of a chat to her. So firstly, thank you for coming down and joining us today. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Um, I've always wondered, how does someone get into uh, interpreting sign language? Well, I'll just go to a course in Auckland, and that's how I became an interpreter. Is it very hard to listen and repeat things at the same time? Um, I think you just get into a flow of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I guess it all takes practice, huh? Yeah, lots of practice. Well, maybe we could um, practice a few things together. Firstly, how would you say, hello, good morning? Good morning. Did you get that, guys? Good morning. So that's maybe something that you can say to your teacher tomorrow morning. Good morning. I like that. And what about good evening? Good, good evening. evening. Oh, it's like the sun going down. I like that. Good evening. And of course, because you always need manners, how do you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Thank you or thank you. Nice. And everyone in Aotearoa is watching the show, so how would you say uh, Auckland? Auckland. Did you get that? Kind of looks like the Sky Tower, I suppose, eh? Yeah. And what about uh, Hamilton? Hamilton! Your home. My hometown, <laughs> that's right. I, I guess it's because we have big muscles, maybe. Who knows? Um, what about Wellington? Wellington, because oh, it's windy. Because it's windy. I like that. Windy Wellington. Dunedin? Dunedin. Bagpipes. Because they like chickens? No. <laughs> for, the, for the bagpipes, I like it. And, um, and what about beautiful Christchurch? Oh, because that's a C. Did you get that? CC. Christchurch. Well, thank you so Bye. much. Yay! Thank you so much for coming in and joining us this morning. And if you guys would like to know any more information about sign language, we've got lots of links on the What Now website.